Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve Coco eating bananas. But before we do, I just want to say that if you do have any requested problems, you can feel free to leave those in the comments. I do have a large backlog of requested problems that I'm working through, so it may take some time for me to get there, but you can feel free to request at any time. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. So this is a pretty interesting problem because there is a brute force solution that we can arrive at and that brute force solution can easily be transitioned into a binary search solution, which is the optimal solution for this problem. So we're going to be working our way from the brute force to that binary search solution. So Coco loves eating bananas and we have n piles of bananas given to us in a piles input array. We're also given a second parameter h which is the number of hours that we have in order to eat all of the bananas so we have to eat them within h hours and so coco has a certain eating speed where she can eat a certain number of bananas per hour and that variable happens to be k and k is not an input variable that's what we're trying to determine as the solution for this problem each hour she can only choose one pile of bananas and eat k bananas from that pile. So that's what we're trying to determine that k value. If the pile has less than k bananas, she'll eat all of the bananas, but she's not gonna eat any extra bananas from a different pile. So what we're saying here is Coco can only eat at most one pile, one entire pile of bananas in a given hour. So what does that tell us? Already we're given some key information. Let's say we're given a certain number of piles, right? So basically the length of P, H must be greater than or equal to the length of P. Why is that? Because let's say we have five piles, right? So let's say we had five piles and let's say this is what the piles look like. The values aren't too important, right? One, one, two, two, three. And let's say we had H equals four hours. Well, let's say K equals some really big number, like three, right? Basically the max of this input array. Okay, Coco ate this entire pile, Coco ate this entire pile, this entire pile, and this entire pile because she could only eat four piles because we only have four hours, right? Coco can only eat one pile per hour. So if she ate all four piles over here, we'd still have one left over. That that's why they guarantee us that H is always going to be greater than or equal to the number of piles. So the minimum in this problem, given this input array, H, the minimum it could possibly be is going to be 5. And I sort of wrote over it, but the last important thing that they tell us in the problem is we want to determine that eating speed K that Coco is going to eat at, but we want to know the minimum integer K, the minimum eating speed of Coco that she could eat all of the piles in exactly five hours or exactly whatever that time interval that number of hours happens to be. So let's take a look at this example. They give us an input array of four piles and they give us eight hours to eat all four of those piles. What's the minimum K, the minimum eating speed that Coco could use to eat all of these piles in at most eight hours? So we have to eat all the piles in eight hours or less. Well, the brute force would be to start at one, right? Because Coco could try K equals one, right? Can we eat all piles in eight hours then? Well, it will take us three hours to eat the first pile, right? Three divided by one, which is our K, right? Three divided by one is going to be three hours to eat this first pile. And to eat the second pile is going to be even more. That's going to be six hours, right? Six divided by one, six hours. So, so far we already have nine hours and we haven't even eaten the entire number of piles. So therefore K equals one is not going to work. And we could just continue this brute force approach, right? Now try K equals two. Two, right and then do the exact same computation with k equals two now my question to you is what's we know that the minimum like possible solution would be k equals one right k can't be zero because that would mean we're not eating any pile so the minimum is one what's the maximum that k could possibly be given this input array and given this number of hours well remember the number of hours is always going to be greater than or equal to the number of piles so in the worst case K would basically be the max number that happens to be in our piles. For example, if K equals 11, right, that means we're able to eat the max pile in exactly one hour, right? And if we can eat the max pile in one hour, that means every other pile is also going to take us only one hour. So therefore, we're going to eat every single pile in four hours. And we know for sure that this is going to be less than whatever is given to us as H, right? We, can, we guaranteed that at the beginning. 
So really what we're doing here is we're going to try every single value from one all the way up to 11, which happens to be the max value of our piles. And the first value that we get that, ha that allows us to eat every single pile in less than or equal to eight hours is going to be our output. So we're going to end up trying one, we're going to end up trying two, we're going to end up trying three, and we're going to find that four allows us to eat all the piles in less than or equal to eight hours. So this is not a terrible solution, right? Even though we're brute forcing the entire solution set one through the max of piles, it's not going to be terrible. What's going to be the complexity of that? Well, we're potentially going to have to iterate through every value in this uh, potential solution set. What's that going to be? Well, one through the max value of our piles, right? So it's going to be, let's say, big O of the max value of piles. So max of P multiplied by the length of P because for every K value, we're potentially going to have to try, okay, if I eat all these, how many hours is that going to take me, right? So we're going to have to iterate through this entire array for every K value that we try. So we're going to get a time complexity of max of P multiplied by P. Right, but that's only, we're getting this max P from the fact that we're having to iterate through every single value in this K range. But why should we iterate from one to the end of that K range? Why, in which case, in the worst case, we'll have to go through every single value. Why don't we instead apply binary search on this K range? What's that gonna give us? Well, we can reduce max of P to the log of max P. So if we can improve this, this is what our time complexity is gonna be. Okay, so I ran out of room, but this is the improved time complexity. Basically, we're taking this variable and applying a log to it, which is going to reduce it a little bit. So let me show you quickly how that binary solution is going to work. It's pretty straightforward, and then we're going to jump into the code. So we're going to be using binary search. We're given this input array, and we want to eat every single pile in less than or equal to eight hours. So we know that the potential rate that we're eating bananas at k is going to be between one that's the minimum it could possibly be the max it could possibly be is going to be whatever the max in our input array is we know the max value is 11 we can find that in linear time so then we're going to initialize a range like this right this entire range that we have going all the way from one to that max value 11. so in other words we're going to have a left pointer at the minimum and a right pointer at the maximum then we're going to compute the middle by taking the average of left and right. One plus 11 divided by two is gonna be six. So our middle is gonna be here. In other words, our K that we're trying is gonna be here. This is the rate that we're gonna eat bananas at. So we're trying the rate of six. Does this work? Can we eat all these bananas with a rate of six bananas per hour in less than or equal to eight hours? Can we do that? Well, how many uh, hours does the first pile take? Well, three bananas, right? divided by the rate, which is six, is gonna round up to one. That means it took us one hour to eat the first pile. The second pile, six divided by six, is also gonna take one hour. So let's just count the number of hours. So the second, or the, rather the third pile, seven divided by six, is gonna round up to two. So that's gonna take two hours. The third pile, 11 divided by six, is gonna also round up to two. That means two hours. So we just did this in six hours, right? Is that good? Does that mean we found our solution? Well, six is less than or equal to eight. That means we were e we were able to eat this entire thing in the time threshold with a rate of six bananas per hour. Is this our solution? Well, remember, we were looking for the minimum K value that allowed us to do this. So this might be the solution, but let's try all the smaller values or let's, let's start our binary search in this direction to see, is there a smaller value than six that we can use for our k value so basically what i'm doing here is if we're able to eat the entire pile in the threshold what i'm going to do is then start searching in the left direction so what i'm going to do is take my right pointer and shift it to k minus one because we're now we're searching this entire range what if the opposite was true what if i tried this k value but i was only able to eat the entire banana pile in let's say h equals 10 hours that means i went over the, the threshold, right? That means I went over the time. So what does that mean? Does that modify our binary search? Well, what that tells us is our rate of eating bananas six was too small. We didn't have enough time to eat all the bananas in the given available time. So what we have to do is increase our rate of K, right? So in that case, what I would do is I would search the right portion of the range. So what I would do is take the left pointer and set it to K plus one over here at the seven. 
So that's how this binary search is going to be working. But so far, we do have one possible solution, and that's six. So now our new right pointer is pointing over here and our result is for now going to be six. So once again, we're going to take the left and right, add them together, divide by two. That's going to give us one plus five divided by two is three. So our K is now going to be at this three value. So now let's check. Can we eat all the bananas in less than or equal to eight hours? How many hours does the first take us? Well, we're eating at a rate of three bananas per hour. The first pile is three. That's going to take us one hour to eat it. The second pile, six bananas divided by three. That's going to take two hours. The third pile, seven divided by three, rounding up is going to be three hours to eat that pile. Last pile, 11 divided by three, rounded up is going to be four hours. So when we total all of this up, it's going to give us, I think, 10 hours. So just like we discussed before, we went over our threshold. We, we took too long to eat these bananas. So what that tells us is this did not work. Three bananas per hour doesn't work. Let's start searching to the right of our range. And remember, when we took this right pointer and shifted it, what we basically did was we said that none of these values are ever going to be considered again. We're now searching in the other range. That's how binary search works, remember? So since this did not work, we're not searching it, and we're not going to search any of the values to the left of it. So what we're going to do is take this left pointer, set it to k plus 1. So once again, we're going to take our pointers, add them together, divide by 2. And we'll, we'll, in this case, we'll just round down. So 9 divided by 2 is going to be 4. So I'm going to put my k value basically where left happens to be at 4. So let's see, with a rate of k equals 4, can we eat all the bananas in less than or equal to 8 hours? The first pile takes 1 hour, the second pile takes 2 hours, the third pile takes 2 hours, and the last pile takes 3 hours. So totaling all of this up, we get 8, right? So we were able to eat all the bananas in less than or equal to 8 hours if we had a rate of 4. So basically, let's compare that to our current result. So far, we found a value with 6. So really, we can update this 6 and say there's a smaller rate that we can use that happens to be four. So now that we did find a potential result four, let's see if we can find an even smaller one. Remember, that's what we did before. If, if we find a K that works, we're going to try to find an even smaller one. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our right pointer shifted over here. But notice how now the left and right pointers are not in the correct order, right? Left should always be to the left of the right pointer. That's basically how you know that our binary search has stopped. We don't have to continue the binary search anymore, right? And that makes sense because now we're searching values that we previously crossed out. We crossed these out, so how can we search them again? It makes no sense. So now we can stop the binary search and we can return the current result, which happens to be four. Four is the minimum range of bananas that Coco could eat to eat all bananas in less than or equal to eight hours. With that being said, let's jump into the code now. So just like I mentioned, we are going to have our left and right pointers initially set to one. Left is going to be one and right is going to be the max that happens to exist in our piles input array. Now the result, we're not going to initialize it to zero initially because remember we're looking for the minimum. So I'm just going to initialize it to R, which is the max in our piles because we know at least this will work. This is the max that our solution could possibly be. And now we just start binary searching while our left and right pointers are in the correct order. We can compute the K by adding the left and right together and dividing by two. And we want to count for this value K, for this rate K, how many hours does it take to eat all bananas? So let's initialize hours to zero and go through every pile in the input array piles. So for any given pile P, we can divide it by K, which tells us how many hours it took. But remember, we have to round up. So there's a function in Python, math.ceiling, which will round this up for us. And whatever that happens to be is what we can add to our hours total. Once we've done that, then at the end of that loop, we're going to check if hours happens to be less than or equal to H, the given input. If it is, that means we can update our result to a new minimum, right? Take the, the minimum of the result and whatever K happens to be. K is that rate that we're looking for. And if this is the case, then how are we going to update our binary search? Well, we're going to look for an even smaller K. So what we're going to do is set our right pointer equal to K minus one. We're going to search the left portion now. If this wasn't true, how would we update our binary search in the opposite case? Then we would take our left pointer and set it to K plus one because that means the rate was too small. So we need to find an even bigger rate that will allow us to eat the bananas in the given time interval. 
And at the end of this loop, once the binary search has stopped, we know that we're going to be returning that result variable, which tells us what the minimum k happens to be. And believe it or not, that is the entire result. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot, and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.